For decades, Leica has built a mystique around their cameras as they have been the camera of choice for some of the most prolific photographers that have ever lived. Now, after six years of being a photographer myself, I acquired the Leica M6, Leica's premier 35mm rangefinder camera that has seemingly become the crown jewel of film cameras in the early 21st century. With all that being said, here's a question I ask myself now that I'm a Leica camera owner. What makes Leica so appealing? Now, I never thought I would be a Leica owner in my wildest dreams for multiple reasons. The first being the obvious, which is the price. The price for Leica film cameras has gone up exponentially over the past 10 years. Nowadays, Leica M6s probably will cost you between 27 to over $3,000, just depending on where you get it. And if you think that is expensive, don't even look at Leica digital cameras because those cameras are absurdly pricey. And the second reason I thought I'd never own a Leica camera has to do more so with the image that having a Leica carries. Now, if you own a Leica camera, people are going to have opinions on it. Uh, not all of them are gonna be bad opinions, but Leicas carry an image along with them because of the price tag. Uh, and so I used to be one of those people that cared too much about what people thought of me. And after I got over the insecurity that came along with owning a Leica camera, I went ahead and got the M6. Now this is not going to be your standard review or first impressions video. I think there are tons of other people that have made awesome videos about that type of stuff. Uh, instead, what I want this video to be about is more so learning from the perspective of myself, who's just an ordinary professional photographer, what it's like to own a Leica camera, uh, and some of the questions that come along with uh, buying one beforehand and after you've got one. And so this brings us back to our original question, which was, what makes Leica so appealing? Now, when it comes to acquiring cameras today, people want to know two things. They want to know who's used the camera and the types of results that they've gotten. The thought is if someone who is a great photographer has used, you know, a Leica, for example, then I might be able to create images that are similar to them. Now, this is obviously a flawed line of logic which we'll get into in a little bit. But when researching Leica cameras, it's very apparent that one of the reasons they've become so appealing is because some of the greatest photographers that have ever lived have used Leica cameras. These include some of these legendary photographers. The first being Henri Cartier Poisson, a French photographer who was known for kind of bringing in a more photojournalistic type of style into the mainstream. He's one that coined the term the decisive moment because he was able to anticipate people just walking into his frames and capturing some of the most iconic images. Then there's William Eggleston, an American photographer who became famous for his ability to just capture random details around him. Uh, take portraits of average everyday people, but, but also bringing color photography into the mainstream, which at the time when he was photographing uh, was not something that most people were doing. It was mostly black and white film. Lastly, with one of the classic photographers, we have Gary Winograd, who is an American photographer who became very well known for his street photography throughout the 1960s of people just living their everyday lives on the streets of New York City. Now, along with those incredible photographers of the past, there is a few modern day photographers that I wanna highlight as well that have propped up Leica's brand amongst the crowd as well. Now, the first being Andre Wagner. Now, Andre is the epitome of the analog photographer living in modern times. He's become very well known for his black and white photography work of just capturing the culture of the world around him, as well as taking some beautiful editorial images and commissions. Then there's Joe Greer, and Joe is someone who is very well known within the film photography community. And Joe is someone who became very well known for his striking landscapes from the Pacific Northwest to all over the world. And I actually found Joe from his street photography, which in my opinion is very similar to Gary Winograd's, where he's kind of just capturing the world around him on the streets of New York City and now on the streets of Nashville. But he does it in such a way that is so unique, uh, almost taking portraits of people without them knowing. And you know, it's just one of those things that sets him apart. And lastly, there is Devin Allen. Now Devin came to my attention uh, in 2020 during the Black Lives Matter protests. He had an image that ended up on the cover of Time Magazine during the protests uh, in Baltimore that are just unbelievably harrowing. Uh, 
Uh, his ability to capture things journalistically is similar to Henri cartier Poisson. I think is what has helped him get so much notoriety, which is very well deserved. Now these people that I've mentioned, all legendary photographers from different generations, different backgrounds, but one thing that they hold in common, literally, is a Leica camera. These photographers have undoubtedly helped prop up Leica among the crowd of camera manufacturers and contributed to its mystique as probably one of the most sought after camera brands in the world. Now, before we move on, I wanna make one thing clear. Uh, just because you own a Leica does not make you a better photographer. I, I think that needs to be said as common sense as it is. And I know a lot of us fall victim to this type of mentality where we think we can just upgrade our skills by spending a whole lot of money. That's just not the case. It's obviously the time and the effort that you use with the camera that will improve your skills overall. Now, another thing that makes Leica cameras so appealing has to be their functionality and their look. Leica film cameras all have a rangefinder type focusing system. This type of viewfinder system allows for quick and stealthy shooting, which is one of the reasons why it's been so appealing to street photographers throughout the years. Without the camera carrying a mirror, it also allows for the camera to be a bit more compact and unassuming when you're carrying it, as opposed to like a DSLR film camera or an SLR film camera. Leica cameras are also known for their ingenious and precise German build, which with proper maintenance allows them to last for decades after they're initially built. Along with the impressive functionality of this camera, Leicas are famously known for being one of the most beautiful cameras ever produced. Now beauty is subjective, but I can guarantee you that most people would concede that Leica cameras just have a classic timeless look that puts them above the rest of camera manufacturers on the market today. And that's really a huge factor in answering the question as to why this camera is so appealing to people nowadays. Now, with all that being said, here's a question that I bet you would ask me now that I am a Leica camera owner. And that is, how did I feel after I bought the Leica? Now, the answer might actually surprise you. Now, I wanna be as honest with you as possible about how I felt after holding the Leica for the first time. As much as I've loved shooting with it over the past couple of months and how excited it gets me to go out and take photos, I experienced something so profound when I first got this camera. And that was this. I was more excited to receive my very first camera, which was just a humble Canon T6i six years ago than I was to receive the Leica. And over the past six years, I've learned something so important that I've already mentioned in this video. Having access to certain cameras can help you to a degree, but like I said before, it does not make you a better photographer than you were yesterday. It was a very humbling experience for me. And one thing is for sure, the Leica has allowed me to have the desire to go out and shoot more, which does contribute to getting better, which if there's something that you can glean from this video, I hope it is that. But moving forward, I wanna talk about the purpose of this video and the purpose of this series. Now, the purpose of Leica Diaries is to give you uh, the perspective of what it is like to own a Leica camera as a ordinary professional photographer like myself. And I wanna show you what it's like to make certain lens choices, picking accessories, and mostly what it's like to shoot in a variety of different situations with the Leica. Thank you so much if you've made it here to the end. I appreciate it. Please like the video, comment if you have any questions, and subscribe if you want to follow me along on this journey uh, and see what happens on the Leica Diaries. But yes, until next time, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.